this is biology video lecture series i am accurately ola demiji philip your host on today's edition of the video we'll be talking about um, questions on sense organs and um i would advise that um, you pause the video to see if you could um, attempt the questions before i come up with the answer and it's preferable if you've actually read this topic by yourself before attempting this video it makes it easier for you to understand all right so let's get um, started the process by which the eye eyeball focuses on both near and um, distant objects we can also say um, focuses i mean lens either way whether eyeball or lens is still correct what is that process called it is called um, accommodation so the answer to number one is accommodation now which of the following is expected in the eye for a boy who is seeing his father coming to him some distance away so there are some things that happens in the eyes for you to know the person is actually um i mean there's some things that happens in the eyes for us to see a far distant object as well as close object so generally let me say this when we see distant object the eyeball or let me say the lens flattens while um if we are seeing closer object the lens becomes more rounded or can say bulges so in our uh, options so we will look at the ones that has to do with um flatness that's option b to d but um what causes that to happen is the, the fact that okay let me say this the lens is connected to the suspensory ligament and the suspensory ligament is connected to the ciliary muscle so for us to have a flattened lens looking at a distant object that means that the suspensory ligament must contract so the answer to the option will be option d the lens flattens because the suspensory ligament relaxes all right it's absolutely contracts if the suspensory ligament relaxes the eye will the lens will budge that means you're looking at a short distance or let me say a a close um, object all right which of the following eye pigments are required to see at night that will be our rods rods are used to see at night and it's used to see black and white color white cones are used to see during the day and it's used to um see color them um, images which of the following regulate the amount of light entering the eyes now the answer to that question is iris iris is a circular muscle that controls an opening and that opening is called pupil someone might want to choose pupil but pupil is the hole of the the the, 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 the aperture while iris is actually the the muscle that contract and relax relaxes to make to, to control the uh, the size of the pupil all right too much of the following as vitreous humor or equals more could lead to which of the following diseases that will lead to glaucoma glaucoma is a disease whereby there is increase in intral ocular pressure the, the pressure within the eyes is so so much because the fluid in the eyes is too much all right and those fluid are aqueous and vitreous humor which of the following part of the mammalian eye is not essential for image formation all right we need all of these except for eyebrow we don't so much need eyebrow to form an image which of the following is not a refractive error of the eye refractive error refers to conditions that affect the eyes from focusing on images whether close images or far distant images
all right so which of the following is not a vacuole that will be conjunctivitis which is the inflammation of the conjunctiva all right which of the following patients can can the use of cylindrical lens be used to correct his sight sorry that's a, a, a funny statement but it's meant to be which of the following patients can can use a cylindrical lens to correct his sight and that would be astigmatism a condition whereby the person's um cornea becomes uneven all right now at this um, point we just mentioned the corrective lens for the following eye defects okay um hypermetropia is otherwise called long sightedness or hyper hyperopia now in this case the person's image is formed so to say behind the retina or behind the fovea centralis so we need a lens that will make it to converge on the actual point that will make the image to be formed on the right place and that kind of lens is called a convex lens all right that should be a convex lens so convex lens is what is used to correct um hypermeropia and it happens most time when people's eyeball become too i'm mean, sorry too short all right now for um myopia the person's i am sorry this one can be co 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 corrected using a concave lens concave lens in this case here the images are prematurely converged so a concave lens will help to diverge the image so I every mean the lens then diverge the ray of light such that the image is now formed directly on the um, area of visual acuity and um, astigmatism is corrected using a cylindrical lens all right so these are the lens used in correcting these conditions and these three are actually refractive errors meaning that they are there is a problem with the eyes focusing on the image okay so like I said the cause of long sightedness is due to what is it that the eyeball is too long or image is formed behind the retina the image is never formed or the the eyeball is too short is going to be that the oh sorry I think I made a mistake during what I was explaining here when somebody is having hypermetropia, the eyeball is too small, so the image is formed behind the eyeball, such that the image is never is blur. So you need a convex lens to converge the image on the retina. All right. While for myopia, the image, the eyeball is too long, so the image is formed in front of the retina. So you need a concave lens that would diverge the ray of light so it can be formed on the retina. So the answer is that the eyeball is too long. That's what causes myopia or otherwise called short sightedness. Which of the following eye defect can be treated with an anti antibiotics? That would be conjunctivitis because it's an inflammation of the conjunctiva which of the following is wrong about the outer ear it contains ear ossicles it contains cerumen it helps to direct the sound wave into the ear the eardrum is part of is a part ear ossicles are found in the middle ear so this is the wrong wrong statement in that 
arrange the following the right sequence okay that should be eardrum with number one that's going to be three followed by malleus inkus and stay that will be three two four one three two four one that's option c there's the arrangement of that from left to right if you're looking at the ear the round window window is connected to the what and the while well, the tympanum is connected to what now the round window is connected to the steps while the tympanum is connected to the malleus so it's going to be steps and malleus all right which of the following is wrong about eastern chian tube it is connected to the nose and toes it connects the middle ear to the inner ear it connects the outer ear to the middle ear it equalizes the pressure between the middle ear and the outer ear i think um there are two wrong answers here so let me just skip that this it's connects okay just a minute i think i should uh, make a correction on this 16. initially what we have here was round window it ought to be oval window all right please take note of that so the oval window is connected to steps well to steps well the tympanum which is right called the right called the um, eardrum is connected to malleus so the answer to that will be um steps and malleus now which of the following this was the one i was meant to answer initially if i took a break and make some corrections so which of the following is wrong about station two Every other thing here is correct except for the fact that it does not connect the middle ear to the outer to the inner ear. No, that's not part of what um, it is. Alright, every other thing there is correct. Which of the following is referred to as organ of balance or structure of balance? That would be the semicircular canal, which is part of the inner ear. I'm looking at this diagram this is the eyeball i would like to just label this first this a is optic nerve b will be retina c will be suspensory ligament d will be lens e is cornea now these three layers one two three this will be sclera second one will be choroid that will be retina all right which of the following represents the lens that's d option d represents the lens which of the following is i think should, which of the following are responsible or essential for accommodation which means image formation that will be the lens and um, or say the suspensory ligament so that should be i mean so so important that will be c and d yes oh i think well this question is funny because really this is needed d is needed c is needed b is needed so i think if we choose b and d we, we are correct because we're not okay sorry yes this is the right answer let me explain why why we didn't include b accommodation refers to how the eyeball focuses so focusing is different from formation formation takes place here so what means to focus is these two all right okay so we are still good okay now at this juncture i believe or i think you've learned something so you are meant to be answering this by yourself 
so pause the video and see if you can answer this uh, what's the answer to this have you paused it okay now the answer is the eyeball is too long i think that's not quite long you will see some repeated questions now which of the following eye defects can be treated with an antibiotics i guess you pick the right answer okay let's move on use the diagram below in answering the questions that follow this is the, the the diagram of the mammalian ear so let's label what is here i hope i can see everything here a is cochlea c is um, auditory so let me go to b b is tympanum or otherwise called eardrum um c is auditory nerve d is semicircular canal e is Eastern chain tube F will be the ear ossicles. All right, so perilymph and endolymph are found here. They are found in A cochlea and D, which is semicircular canal. So that should be okay, we have D and A, yes, semicircular canal and cochlea. Conductive deafness cannot affect. Conductive deafness most times affect the middle ear, sorry, outer ear or middle ear. So it cannot affect A. And what is A? A is cochlear, which is part of what? Inner ear. Alright? And that is the actual site of hearing. Cochlear is the actual site of hearing. So the cochlear and the eardrum are, are represented respectively by. So a and b do you have anything like that yes we do plus option d okay Use the diagram below in answering the questions that follow. This is the inner ear alone drawn in this place. So the diagram represents the what the inner ear. Which of the following parts is responsible for balance? In this case, this is your semicircular canal, and that is one. Semicircular canal is represented by one also. It, it, those are two questions. One is this one talks about the function, this one talks about the name of the structure itself, and that's one that is A. Okay, which of the following is wrong about the outer ear? It contains ear ossicles. No, the ear ossicles are found in the middle ear, that's like the major content there aside the round and oval window and the eastern chan tube which of the following is wrong about eastern chan tube i think this is a repeated question that you should pause the video and see if you can answer it it connects the middle ear to the outer to the inner ear that is wrong i hope you will get the right answer which of the following is referred to as organ of balance? I believe you have taken note of that, which is your semicircular canal. That's repeated questions. Alright, I think that will be all for now. There are a lot of questions on this. Sorry, I didn't um, get this well articulated enough. Please let me have your comments let me know if you actually understood this very well and if it's helpful you can talk to me on whatsapp if you have more questions and please solve questions very very well and um, i wish you all the best in your exams thank you god bless you i remain akiri leola dimiji philip remember the best is in you